I heard they checking for me, no one checking on me So I had to go run up a check I got the message on me, get no flexing on me My attorney gon' call and collect Blessings on blessings for me My success has only made them envious, they got upset I had to put all their egos in check that much if you're cutting the entire car at one time but at the same time you can you can lay everything on the table and cut down the waste wait so how is this a challenge we're gonna do one side of the car and alex is gonna do the other side well just one fender one fender each because i asked him how fast could he do a, this fender model three under 10 minutes oh wow I smiled, you know, and he said, man, I could do better than you and Robert together. Oh, really? Let's oh. see. It's a challenge now. You got a you challenge. Know. You know. Well, it should be good. It's the uh, winner gets what? Yeah. Nothing. He's, he's already buying pizza. He's already buying pizza? He knows he lost. He can buy uh, <laughs> bread. <laughs> You're stupid. <laughs> Oh, you know, we're doing uh, Robert's Tesla. Oh, is that what we're working yeah. on today? Yeah, that's his Tesla. Oh, wow. How do you like your new car? Oh, it's amazing, man. Yeah? I can't wait to drive it, drive it all tinted and with the stealth on it and the goofy stock hubcaps pulled off. <laughs> How long did you wait? Uh, six months. Six, six months. months. Oh, wow. Six months too long. <laughs> oh, let us know what his, his license plate should say. I found a better one, but I don't want to say what it is because somebody will want it. Well, it's going to come out in two weeks, so you got two well, I might weeks. not have it done by then. Oh. What is it? I'm not telling you because you would want Me? Yeah. Man, I was going to put Tuk Cool. It doesn't let me put Tuk. I got to put it with like a four. The four as an A? What am I looking at? I don't think they run it now. Today we're doing my personal vehicle. Drove it straight here from Tesla. We did the window tint yesterday. Hasn't driven on the road any otherwise. We're doing full stealth, head to toe. Yes. Um, yeah. oh, yes. We've already awesome. done the tint. Like I said, we did every window and uh, plus. We're gonna yes. get as much as we can of the stealth done today. To have it technically to where it's installed. Is it possible to finish this car in one day? Yes, two guys, yes. You heard it. You got an extra one here. You heard it. 2v1. Go. <laughs> hey, uh, We're doing a competition, Fender Defender, Mr. Alex, the PPF trainer from Expel, and Mr. Rolando. Master Rolando. Master Rolando. <laughs> Self-proclaimed. All right, time. Come on, hurry up, guys. You're already in six seconds. Pins on the jacket, the man's a bullet. The point of the road was being erupted. Hushing, I'm flying on pants in London. The products are not being scared of some judgment. Gotta stay in the cut. Cut you off if you ain't making the cut. Couldn't tell you who the hell is behind us. You start to forget when you stay in front of us. Up and it's up for grabs. No remorse of who I'm taking it. Done. Yeah, technically now I'm done. Now I'm done. Oh. Yeah. Now what I am going to do, I'm going to go in like a fader down, but the film was already down. Ah, the film was underrated too then. Don't fade him. 
Can I see your attack? That Albert. was three guys. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. This is hot. That was about three minutes, guys. That was pretty fucking impressive. Now Robert's gonna judge oh. the fenders. See who did the best fender. Mr. Uh, Alex is the winner. <laughs> I have all these crap right here. Look, really, we're the winners because he's here. Uh, the Tesla. Mm -hmm. Um, the rear trunk. If if you're doing it one piece. Rear trunk. Front end's pretty straightforward. Yeah, it's um, it's a difficult-ish bumper because mm. there's some stretch involved, but it's really not the worst. What up? Another day in the life. It's a beautiful day. A lot of beautiful gentlemen in the house. They should be feeling pretty good today after yesterday's reviews, because everybody at Tritech gets raises. I wouldn't have used the tack, I would have just squeegeed it, and in the time it took you to come over here and get this one set, that side would have already been good. And then this side, then just give it a second, and then in that second, there we go. Now, let it check, and just make sure the gap is consistent. Hit the, there you go, okay. see these? Oh yeah. I did not, but and what I would do, I would hold this. Oh. And look at the way I'm holding down. Yes. So Forcing it to roll. There you go. And and then look, everything else is still floating. Hell yeah. See, I'm not even gonna attack that. I'm gonna let this just sit. You're just gonna. Yep. And then whenever you're ready, you tell me. Okay. We'll just spray the top with soap so it's always squeegee yeah. glides really good. I'm just gonna push these air pockets out so that way. I know because right there. The longer that sits there, that is a dry You're patch right. underneath. Okay. So there's a hand mark right there. You see those those C-shaped. Ooh, it's stuck too. That's that's from re removing the uh, adhesive. The surface is probably really really bare. And all that I'm doing, I'm just pushing the air out. So now, if it's still floating, oh, we're good. We're way good. Whenever you're ready, let me know. There you go. There you go. Just like that, and getting them to hold so that, that way we're not putting our hands in those areas. Yeah, exactly. I like it. Oh, it's it's another level. I'm I'm really enjoying having Mr. Alex here. Huh. Thank you. Guys, so I got this black 2006 BMW M6. When it got here last week, the paint was completely swirled up. And just imagine a black car that's a 2006 up until 2022. It looked terrible. And uh, we decided that we we're going to do a paint protection film package on it. But as well, when I looked at it, I said, you know, you really need to get a paint correction. We do a multi step paint correction, a compound and polish and a full detail. I didn't think it was gonna look this good, but look, it's like glass. It actually blew all of our expectations when it was done. And we literally made the car look brand new again. So you gotta get it done right. You gotta get a correction. You can actually bring back a 2006 paint job to look like glass. In fact, this is a brand new 2022 Chevrolet we just got from the dealer. And this thing, does not look good compared to this 06 after a correction, I'm telling you guys. So the customer is ecstatic, he's smiling, he's actually inside paying out, he's about to leave. But I just wanted you to see it because you can really fix your car up without spending any crazy amount of money. Even black paint can be renewed, done right by the pros. Just 
took a phone call. They were putting it on here. I finished the phone call, come out, and now they're trimming it out. All in one solid piece on the deck lid of the Model 3. That's pretty crazy. That's experience, baby. That's right. <laughs> That's a lot of experience right there. Part are you on now, Robert? The, one of the final pieces. We're on the rear bumper. We're about to do a little hatch piece after this, and we'll be done. Yeah. We'll be done, done. What's after? What do you? What's usually your process after you finish um, sticking everything? We'll do post heat, heat out all the edges, and make sure everything's really solid, and um, wash the car the next day so that we don't re-wet it. Does that affect it? It, it does. It, if, if you try to wash it too soon, all of your edges will be re-wet, potentially. Post heat, guys, we're done. We're wrapping it up. Do what? I finished the whole car in four hours. Thirty-six minutes. Thirty-six minutes. <laughs> that's to be a shop record, right? This is. Well, Robert likes to work. Ooh. He gets them done. What do you have to say? He did it in one day. Half of the car Robert did by himself. <laughs> he did the bumper. He did the hood, and he did all this side. Damn. Yeah. That's the real MVP right there. No. Show sure. yeah. That's what we did. That's right. him right there. <laughs> That's right. That was right. you. Yeah. Right. Someone has to take credit. Someone, Someone has to take credit. <laughs> They're giving it away. 30 bro. minutes to do a, a, a window. Who? Five times to do that windshield over there. Hey, but it's right. Is it? Is it? <laughs> Is it? <laughs> Expel Stealth paint protection film on Robert's new Tesla Model 3. In addition, he got the best window tent you can get today, the Expel XR Plus with the 98% infrared heat rejection, 99% UV protection all the way around on every window. Uh, Robert has been driving a 2005 Ford truck literally since two years. Yeah, two years <laughs> after it was new, since 2007. And let me tell you, he drives a good distance to work. He's been here about three years now, and that thing's like ready to go. Like yeah. it's falling apart and Robert just keeps driving it. So I'm really, really, really proud of Robert. This is kind of a big moment for me. And I know a huge deal for Robert, for him to get a brand new vehicle. And this is ex exactly what he wanted. Uh, so I'm super proud of Robert. He works really hard. Robert, what Man, do you think? This is a game changer for me. This is uh, comfortable in traffic, uh, no gas, driving a long ways every day, like Dave said, and um, it's just literally a life changer for me. Uh, uh, this is kind of a dream car come true for me as well. I've been drooling over the Tesla since I started working here, and it's finally a dream come true, and I couldn't be more proud. Yeah, we're all proud of you for sure. So I'm real proud of you, Robert. The car came out great. Thank you. Let's uh, keep killing it. Thank you. So thanks guys for watching. I wanted to let you guys know it was a huge moment for me to see Robert get a new vehicle. He's been driving that old truck for a long time and it's just a big deal to see your guys thrive and create better lives for themselves. He has a safe new vehicle to drive. It's not going to break down most of the time on the way to work. His family, he has kids. Uh, they get to ride around in something that's reliable that's a huge deal for me and to see my guys thrive take care of their families get new houses giving them a place where they can grow is super important because you guys know i have some things going on now i have a lot of stuff that i never thought i would have so today it's more important for me
to not only take care of my family and help them grow, but also take care of my family at work. We've got literally uh, 13 of us now. We've grown so much and to see them do well, it means everything to me. People are always asking me, David, why do you keep going? You've got this, you got a McLaren, you got a beautiful home, a beautiful family, stop and smell the roses. And I'm like, I can't because if I stop, who's gonna push the vision? Who's gonna take care of my people? Who's gonna create better lives and opportunity for them? I know we all do it together, but I know it's my duty and my mission to continue to help everybody. So if you like my message, you wanna see us next week, like, subscribe, ring the bell. Thank you guys for watching.